chapter 8, lesson 5, is the last lesson of the chapter. And usually, the last lesson of the chapter means it's an application of everything that we have learned in the previous lessons. So this is called fraction of a set. Okay, so in essence, um, the bar models for these could be helpful. Okay, but not all are helpful. So, which means we have to decide which ones will be helpful and which ones will be not. So, well, this is technically the whole. Okay, and let's say this is the shaded. So, this is technically the fraction. So, our fraction here technically will be 3 out of the 6. Okay, now, um, when it's word problem application, some of the, the bar models are really helpful, but there are others that are not as helpful. So I will show when it is helpful, and I will show when it's not really very helpful. Okay, so our examples come from various pages. So we'll start with page 31. Okay, on page 31, we'll start with number 3. It says, find... 2 thirds of 18. Okay, this has a bar model. Okay, and it has leading questions. So the way that they want us to answer this problem is to say that 3 units is equal to 18. So there's the 3, 1, 2, 3. And then they want you to say 1 unit is equal to 18 divided by 3. So which means 1 unit is 6. But we want 2 of the units. So 2 units is equal to 6 times 2 or 2 times 6. Okay, which means this will be 12. Okay, um, me personally, I find that too cumbersome. So if we want to find 2 thirds of 18, basically it's the same thing that's do what we're doing here, but it's just faster. Because all we have to do is take 18 and then divide that by 3, which is what they did here. Okay, that will be 6 and then multiply that by 2 and that will be 12. So again, it's 18, you divide by 3. Okay, and then after that, you take times 2. So, it's doing everything that the book asks you to do, but it's a faster process. So, whatever it is that will be helpful for the kids, then that's what we want to do. Okay, so which means on problem number 4 of the same page, it says find the values. Okay. Okay, so following my approach, I'll put my equation here. This will be 12 divided by 3, which is 4. And then we multiply by 1, which is still 4. So that means 1 third of 12 is 4. Similarly, I'll put my equation here, 25 divided by 5, which is 5. And then we multiply by 4. So that's 5 times 4, which means this is 20. So again, if we follow the book, it's just more steps, but it's doing the same exact thing in just one go. Okay, so which means an application of that can be seen on page 32. So if we look at page 32, it says number 7. It says, a group of pupils visited the museum. Okay, three-eighths of the pupils are girls. Okay, so then it says there are 27 girls. How many pupils visited the museum? Okay, so since this is a word problem, this is when it's ideal to do the bar models. 
So this is not a word problem, so I don't need a bar model for that. Okay, so again, it says uh, three-eighths of the pupils are girls. So that means we will divide the whole by eight. One, two. Okay, so we try to make it as equal as possible. Okay, so then it says that there are three eighths. So this is the three out of the eight. Okay, so then this is the number of girls, 27. And the question is how many went to the museum? Okay, so again, here it's ideal to have the bar model. So I know that 27 is for three groups. So which means I'm gonna divide 27 divided by three is nine. Okay, after I find each box is nine, I'm gonna take nine and I'm gonna multiply it by eight, which means I know that there were 72 pupils that went to the museum. So again, the bar models are useful for word problems. They're not as useful when it's a simple problem like this. So I'll demonstrate another one shortly. Another word problem that we will be doing is number eight on page 33. So again, if it's a word problem, it's really ideal to do the bar models. And this is when we start realizing the importance of Singapore math. Okay, so it says number eight. Raj bought some sweets. He gave two thirds of the sweets to his friends and had five sweets left. How many sweets did, did Raj buy? Okay, so the whole is composed of three parts. Two of the three parts he gave away. So this is what he has left. And they give us that five is left. And the question is how many did he buy? So again, if without the bar model, this would have been totally confusing for the kids and for the parents to teach. So hard for the kids to understand and hard for the parents to teach. So that's why with this bar model, you should see that since one box is five, then that means three boxes must be three times five is the question mark. So there, for we know that there were 15 sweets that Raj bought from the beginning. So again, parents, we need to make sure that we value these bar models because when it comes to word problems, it's really the easiest way to learn, to teach, and to understand the word problems. That concludes lesson five of chapter eight, which also concludes chapter eight. See you in the next